Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to make really simple character animation using a bone tool in Adobe Animate CC. So this is what we're gonna do. So let me test the movie. Command return. So this little cat's tail is kind of a uh, uh, keep moving, and then uh, the eyes blinking. Okay, it's really simple. So uh, please download the images I pr uh, from the link I provided. And please don't forget to subscribe and then uh, set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. So first thing is, uh, I want you to download the images from the link I provided in my description. Uh, this is the um, uh, one black cat image uh, from the illustrator. Uh, this is the character from the um, uh, the animation titled uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, and the cat's name was Gigi. So I, you can download it from there, and then I saved it as the SVG file, so we can use it from um, the Adobe Anime CC. Okay, now once you download it, go to Animate CC, open new file, 640 by 480. 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas and create it. Okay, now go to file, import to library, and there will be two images background.jpg and gg.svg. There's two images, so select both, open it, please check the top radio button. Import all path into the same layer and frame and check your library. So you're gonna have two images. So first one is gonna be background.jpg. So we're gonna drag and drop it to the stage. Open properties and set X and Y to zero point. I'm gonna rename it as a BG, background layer. Now, add a new layer on top. Uh, I'm gonna name it as a cat or gg and from the library let me select this as gg.svg file and drag and drop it zooming out and using this free transform tool I'm gonna make it smaller by holding down the shift key and drag it maybe somewhere maybe about this size like that Okay, so now we're ready to animate uh, the tail. But the problem is, um, this tail and then the cat body is in the same layer now, uh, as a one character, one symbol. So we just need to separate it. So highlight it, go to insert menu, and I'm sorry, modify menu, and break apart. So they are separated. So select the tail only, go to edit, and cut command X and make a new layer on top. I will rename it as a tail and paste it. Okay. And then, so I have three layers background layer, cat body, and tail. Let me zoom in. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the position of this tail, maybe somewhere here, like that. Okay, so it's a kind of overlapping. Okay, now it's time to plant some bones. So please choose a bone tool. If you do not see your bone tool in your toolbox, please click on this edit toolbar, three dots on the bottom of your toolbox. Click on it, and you will see that your bone tool, and you can just drag and drop it to your uh, toolbox. So select your bone tool. Let me select the tail. Bone tool. I'm gonna start from the end. Click, do not release it and just uh, drag it. And my second point will be somewhere here. Let me do this way. Zoom in more. That's gonna be easier. So using bone tool from here. Drag it. I'm gonna stop on the border where the body and the tail are uh, crossed. This. 
here, 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 and let me do one more at the end of this tail. So now the uh, this uh, cat had the tail has the um, uh, the bone with one, two, three, four, five joints. Okay, and the very first point, the anchor point, that's a kind of a like a like a parent's spot, so it doesn't move. So you can check this. Change your tool to a selection tool and select a, your the last dot, the anchor point, and move up and down. See? Okay, isn't it fun? Okay, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I want to fix this uh, the position of this joint so it doesn't move. So what you can do is select your joint. Now you can see that kind of a push pin. You can check your properties panel. You can click on this pin uh, checkbox or you can click when you see that kind of the push pin images. See that? The pin checkbox is checked. So what happened now is that point doesn't move. Okay, so it's time to uh, animate it. So what I'm going to do is I want to make some kind of a, uh, a smooth uh, animation. So let me do this. Let me zoom out a little bit. At the very beginning, this tail, I want to make it kind of go down a little bit here. Not too much. Okay, and move this up a little bit, move this down, like this, up, maybe like this. So I'm going to start from here. Okay, now Highlight that frame number five. Uh, the cool thing about this bone tool is, as you uh, add more frames, like insert pose frames, and then um, the animate CC will animate automatically. Okay, so highlight that frame number five on top layer. Hold down the control key or right click and choose insert pose. Don't worry about the other missing uh, background images and the cat body. We're gonna fix it later. Okay, now from here, I'm going to place my mouse cursor on this kind of a fixed joint and I'm going to move it up like this. And as I move this up, the, the tail is supposed to be bent like this way. Okay, so see, this happens. Highlight the frame number 10. Hold down the control key or right click, insert pose, let me move it up, and bend more a little bit, so this happens, and on 15, insert pose again, I'm going to move even more like this. Okay, now after this point, I want to make this tail goes down, but go down. But um, um, I can do that uh, kind of the same way into um, the opposite direction. But uh, maybe this is gonna be easier way. So let me highlight the on the top layer. You see that entire segment is selected. Okay, then hold down the option and drag it. Then, let me, still the, the second segment is highlighted. Hold down the uh, control key or right click and click on it. You see the reverse frames. Okay. The key point is, the very beginning, because the, this whole animation will be, uh, will be looped. Uh, so, um, the first image of the tail and the last image of tail needs to have the same position. So, that's why I reverse the frames. Okay, 
but I'm, in order to make it more realistic, what I'm going to do is, uh, on my second segment and the second insert pose keyframe here, I'm going to bend opposite way. Like this. See? And then for this one, let me move it down more and this way. So let me play it up and down, up and down. Okay, it's not too bad. Now the only thing is I need to keep uh, my cat body and the background image up to frame number 30. The same numbers of frames. So I highlight those two frames and hold down the control key or right click and just insert a frame. So this happens. Okay. It's not very kind of super smooth, but um, uh, you can play with it. And so let me test it so, um, to see how it looks, how it works on the web browser. Under control, test movie in a browser. See? It keeps doing this. Okay, and then I want to have the kind of a blinking eyes of this little cat. So, why don't we do this? Um, in the library, let me create a new movie clip symbol. will be named eyes. Okay, and then uh, since we're going to have the uh, white eyes of this uh, little cat, I want to change the background color. So open the properties panel and change your stage color to black. Make sure you are working on this eyes, movie clip symbols editing window. So first thing is, let me choose uh, oval tool and then want to have white fill and no stroke color. And let me draw this. By holding down the shift key, draw the one perfect circle. It doesn't have to be really big. And then, uh, let me add the uh, uh, new layer on top. And on this new layer, I will draw one black oval. Maybe like this. Okay, so let me rename the bottom one as white and the top one as a black. Okay, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this white circle. I want to make some kind of like a blinking eyes. So it's really easy. So let me select this white dot, white circle. Go to edit menu copy and highlight the frame number five on the bottom layer and go to insert menu timeline blank keyframe so blank keyframe is the other empty empty frame there's nothing so go to edit menu and then um, paste in place so basically I'm doing kind of a shape twinning. Uh, I will make a link to uh, my shape twinning video tutorial so if you want uh, you may watch the video too. And then on frame number 10 insert timeline blank keyframe and then let me paste in place again same thing. In the middle one highlight your second one and choose your free transform tool and then squeeze it down like this okay and then what I'm gonna do is let me zoom in even more okay now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between first 
and the second keyframe. Hold down the Ctrl or right click, choose Create Shape Twin. I'll do the same thing. Between second and the third keyframe, hold down the Ctrl or right click and insert uh, Create Shape Twin. So it is blinking. Okay? And then also on the frame number 20, let me insert just the keyframe so I can keep that. This black dot is missing, so in order to keep it up to frame number 20, highlight the frame number 20, then hold down the Ctrl or right click and insert the frame. And that's it. It's a blinking eye. Okay, now go back to main scene. I'm going to create a new layer on very top, will be named as eyes. And from the library, let me have eyes movie clip symbol here. That's quite big. So I'm going to make it smaller by holding down the shift key with the free transform tool. Make it smaller. Set the position. Okay. And hold down the option, click and shift drag it so I can have a copy and I'm going to flip it by using this free transform tool let me flip it over like this okay I think we are all done so uh, let me try this control test movie in the browser so tails animating and then our eyes blinking Okay, all right, so I hope yeah, you enjoyed this, and I'm going to have some more uh, video tutorials about the bone tool uh, later. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to um, uh, subscribe, and then I'll set the notification for my latest video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.